So what is my first impressions of the Emotion V11Y when I used to own two Emotions V11? If you want to know that and more, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love ECs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this used to be the place for you. Unfortunately, because of the issues of the UK market, not a lot of EUCs, they can come through my door like before. Here I am, I'm back with the Emotion V11Y. I had to pay part of it, so it was not fully, fully free. As I said on the intro, I used to have two Emotions V11, and that is a massive reasons for that. In the meantime that we are opening this box, let's talk about it. If you guys follow me for a while, you know that I was a bit upset with the market in 2022 because the wheels, they were getting bigger and bigger and heavier and heavier. And I always said that there is a limit for me to really enjoy a wheel. And I continue to say that a wheel around 35 kilos will be the ideal weight if it makes sense. And besides that, and during this unboxing, I want to talk about something that I really like about the Emotion V11. That is the form factor. So when we look to the Emotion V11, one of the unique wheels that can fit inside the locker, and that's the reason why I've been using every single day or before my injury, because I now injured my knee, so I've been at home for the last month, basically. But I've been riding with the V11 almost every single day, because where I can park this wheel is inside the locker. Majority of the wheels that we have now, even if they are quite small, they are still quite bulky. So without taking off all the pads and stuff, they will not fit inside that locker. Because of that, I've been using the Emotion V11. When we look inside the box, you'll get the normal charger that we see basically in all V11s. So I'm a bit disappointed in a certain way. I would like to have seen something a little bit better in here because I think since this is a new generation, I would like that the charger was different, but it's exactly the same charger that you find on the V11. We are talking about the charger that charge at 2.5 amps. But when we talk about the size of this battery is 1,500 watts, so nothing new in there. Inside the box also you will find obviously your plug and in this case they send me the UK plug. Inside the box also you will find the pump that is exactly the same they've been sending to us previously. This is the latest generation of pumps and to be honest I normally prefer the old ones than this one but this is the one that is now inside the box. You will also find some keys, more keys, a quick guide with more information on the back, the user manual and more legal stuff. So definitely a plus something that I really like about Emotion. And also how to set transport mode in both of the sides if you need to send this away to somewhere else to your distributor, for example, to repair. Another thing that you'll find exactly the same in Emotion and many times people criticize me about it is when we talk about packaging. These things are quite expensive, so I would like to see a good packaging. And once again, that's not a difference when we talk about the V11. It's almost impossible that it get damaged during the transportation of this one. Here we have the wheel already activated. Since I grab it and I start touching, I already start to see some difference and some improvements on this wheel. The first one that we have to talk, and it's not an improvement, but is something that I like that is here, is the handle. It continues to be exactly the same. The material of the handle is exactly the same. The shape is the same. So definitely a plus, something that I always loved, and it continued to be one of my favorite handles. It's very easy to open it stays in place. I have it for a long period of time and like I said before I used to have two Emotions V11. I never had any issues with the handle. When we look just a little bit lower here these plastics they feel harder than the plastics that you find on the V11. So this one is harder. It continues to be a little bit soft but not at the level that you have on the V11. So I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. I need to see how I feel when I'm riding and I really don't know why they changed that. When we talk about these parts that they used to break, I don't know if in the long run they will break or not. Since this plastic is different, maybe that's the reason why they changed it to use a material that is slightly stronger. 
Not sure, but just to point it out. When we look slightly lower, that's something that I'm a bit disappointed because we all know that majority of you guys have like a big part that covers the wheel. I like that they have provided that inside the box, an area where we could put some Velcro and attach to the wheel if we wanted or not. So that will be a great add-on that they could have put it outside of the box, but they didn't. When we look a little bit lower, the pedals are very, very different. So nothing related. On the V11, I have the pedals, the Honeycon pedals from Emotion. And I have to say that these ones are bigger, but in the same time, this one's completely close and these ones, they don't really touch the wheel. So something that I'm okay with it, but I'm a bit OCD, so in the same time, I prefer as it is. Maybe it's just a question of tightening a little bit less the, the screw here on the bottom, something that I really like about wheels of emotion that I don't understand why other brands, they don't use that way. The pedals, they are super, super big. Another thing that I like is the fact that here you have some rubber. So when it hits the wheel, you will not scratch it. So definitely a good touch, but I don't understand why they have reduced the amount of spikes that you'll find on the pedals. Really like the form factor but I would like to have some spikes that I can remove them and replace them when I need it. But they give us a solution that when they are gone, you just need to completely replace these pedals. When we look here on the bottom, I will say that the plastics are exactly the same. The screws on the sides are exactly the same. So no changes whatsoever in there. But something that I've seen a lot of you guys putting on your wheels is some guards for the front light. And we'll talk about the front light in a second and guards on the back and also guards on the bottom. I don't use these guards on the bottom because I'm using this guard here. I don't know if you guys can see on the video, but it's to protect the suspension and we'll go there in a second, but I really like the fact that this comes already included. In that case, because of these rubbers, I will not be able to put any guard to the suspension in here. So something just to consider and to have a quick look. When we look to the back of the electric unicycle, we can see also an amazing improvement. It seems that is nothing, but it's some details. And that's also one of the reasons why I think that investing on the V11 it's a very good investment because if you think about it, when we talk about the controller and we'll talk about that in a second, you have basically the same type of control that you find on the V13. I don't like the tire that comes with the V11. And when we talk about the tires, they came with the V12 high speed. They run super, super fast. Basically after 1000 kilometers, 1200 kilometers, you need to think to replace it. These ones, they don't run so quick. This is the same tire that you find, for example, on the MSP. I will see which tire I'm going to put here, but normally I always put an off-road tire. Maybe I'll put here a street tire that I will like it, but this tire is definitely going to come out of my wheel. So when we look here on the back, you are going to see a massive improvement when we talk about the mud guard. The material is exactly the same. So I really like is this flexible material. So you will never break your mud guard. Be God, if you are hearing, you need to change those mud guards. They are simply horrible. I have this wheel already with 3000 kilometers. The other one that I sold was also with 4000 kilometers, more or less. No problem, no issues whatsoever with the mud guard. It was exactly the same. But the fact you have a much bigger mud guard, that's a massive improvement when we talk about dust. And I hope that you guys can see the difference of the dust on this one compared to obviously something that is completely, completely new. When we talk about the charging port is exactly the same that you find on the previous generation and you continue to have the possibility to connect two chargers and to have like a fast charging if you want. So no changes whatsoever in there. I like that the rubbers, it was slightly different in a way that there is no chances to open. I don't have any issues with this one, but with my previous one, my previous V11, the charging port was sometimes slightly loose and after riding a bit, it was opening. Another thing that I would like to have seen different is the fact that when you open this, the stand can stay inside this tire. I know that they don't have any off-road tire in there, but just considering that if some ones do that, I would like to have seen something different because there is a way it's changing this piece of plastics where you attach the, the, the stand 
and that will allow that it doesn't really touch the tire. They could have done something different in there, they didn't, but it's just to point it out something that could also have been improved on this one. On the front of your wheel, you continue to have that small screen, so no changes whatsoever in there. The button is exactly the same, but when you turn off and on, the sound is different. So this is the V11Y, and when we go to the V11, so very, very different. I'm very used to this sound, so it's weird to don't hear the same sound in there. Another thing that I need just to point it out is the orange. It seems that is now a big trend in all electric unicycles. It was in motion starting with this, but I don't get it why other brands have followed. If you don't like orange, it is maybe a problem for you, but since the V13, it seems that is now the massive trend of emotion. When we talk about speeds, here you have 55, here you have 60. I don't know if you have fancy mode in this one to allow to unlock up to 65 on the first 20%. That's something that you have available on the V11. Another thing that we can see here on the front lights, and I hope that you guys can see the difference, is this one have this plastic that I simply hate it. It's always getting full of dust in there, and here you don't have anything. Obviously, that's an extra protection when we talk about rain and all those stuff. And when we talk about rain, this one you have here, even the logo saying IPX6. When we talk about waterproofing in here, definitely a massive bonus that you have with the V11. Why? So there is more changes when we talk about the V11Y that they are quite big if you think about it. So first of all, here you used to have a mode called fancy mode. So you could unlock the first 20% of your battery to reach 55%. In here, you don't have fancy mode, at least I didn't find anything and if there is a way of making fancy mode, let me know because the app changed quite a bit compared to the time that this one came out. I couldn't find any way to unlock a hiding feature, but this one will do 60 km per hour all the way. Obviously, when you start reaching more the end of your battery, you'll not reach the 60 km per hour, but you are not limited just on the first 20%, plus you have an extra 5 km per hour on top of the 55 that you used to have on the first 20% in there. So it seems that is nothing, but that's quite, quite relevant. This is maybe the thing that I hated the most on the V11 and is the control board. I hated how small that box was on the inside because if you have a V11 and if you had to change your motherboard, maybe you had that issue before that you are just trying to take it off. And when you try to put it back because it was such a small box, you have risks of damaging a cable or whatsoever. So that happens to me, so I have to reorder another motherboard to sort it out, another wheel, or in this case it was this one. And now you have a box that, I'm not joking, is basically like two sides of that box. And what you have in here is the Raptor, like you have on the Emotion V13. The big, big advantage is when you go now to the app, you'll be able to control all your batteries. You have here a smart BMS. When we talk about the motor, it's also an amazing improvement. So here you have 2,500 watts nominal, here 2,200, so you have 300 watts more. And when we talk about NMs, you have basically 150 NMs more on this one than on the v11 so i can't wait to ride this one i can't wait that this knee gets better and you have another big big benefit that you have with the emotion v11 why i always change this tire so when you go to a tire like mine so if you go to a tire that is an off-road tire the tire is thicker the benefits is going to take longer to run out another thing is you're going to increase obviously your grip but there is a massive disadvantage is that the distance with the floor will be even bigger. Having a suspension then first of all is slightly lower and also the springs in here they can accommodate 10 millimeters more than on this one so I'm curious to see because many times with this one I feel that I can 
hit the top of the suspension. Yes, I can put more air, but I think the travel is a little bit short and I'm really curious to see how I feel when I'm riding with this one. Looking to the covers of the suspension, I thought they were plastic and uh, they are not, they are metal. But it was just to point it out because the color is a very weird red color. Another thing that is really, really important for me because I ride many times during the night is the brightness. I have to say that it's much more condensed in the middle, so I'm a bit concerned about that because I normally prefer that you have a beam that is slightly wider to see the sides. But even if I turn that on or off, you can see that is not a big difference on the amount of light that you can see from this one. So if I just turn off this one now, and I turn on, you can see the amount of light that you have. Can you see the difference? So this is with the V11Y, V11 on, V11Y turn off and just V11. Another thing that I just noticed is related with the front lights. I think also that they remove this plastic on the front to have more air going in to make it colder. So in that case, you don't need to have this fan on the back anymore. And obviously, I don't know if you can hear on the microphone, but when I turn it on, the fan is really loud. It's very, very noticeable, the sound. Another thing just to point it out is all this system of the suspension is exactly the same. I would like to have seen an improvement on the type of suspension that they put here. But unfortunately, the only thing is they made it a little bit longer. So you have a travel of more 10 millimeters, like I said before. But that was one of the parts that I would like to have seen improved. And also these plastics, they should have been improved because they have tendency to crack here on the bottom, but they seem exactly the same. And obviously without riding, why I think that Emotion and the Emotion V11Y, it's an amazing, idea for you to purchase if you are looking to purchase your maybe even your first electric unicycle and even for me that I ride for a long period of time why I'm such a fanatic of this brand it's a company that is always there for you they can connect remotely to your wheel to see if there is any any problems now you have smart BMS where you can track all your batteries so definitely a plus but my passion for this specific electric unicycle and why I like so much this one and also the approach of Emotion is the fact that if you buy, for example, a Bigod wheel, is always coming a new model every, almost every week. I, I completely lost the track of new electric unicycles that came out from them. This wheel I reviewed more than two years ago and now they launch this wheel that is basically a new generation of that one. So the big benefit that this gives is I have chances to get a lot of parts for this wheel. And also, if you think about it, whoever had the V11 could maintain that wheel and continue to have parts to replace it and to continue to use. And even I think that if you do a big, big effort, you'll be able to even replace to a Raptor and transform your V11 in a V11Y because majority of the parts of this wheel are exactly the same. Also, I forgot to say here, the kill switch continued to be exactly the same. Just the sound is different, so no changes whatsoever in there. But I think that overall for the price, I think you can't go wrong with the V11Y. Obviously, if you want a full review, I'll be doing it anyway, but let me know that you really want that. I can't promise when it's going to happen because I'm really suffering of this knee and it's really hard for me to walk at the minute. I don't know the extension of the damage on this knee, but this wheel is basically almost everything that I ask besides the fact that the suspension, I would love that this was a suspension like you have on the V14. I'm still waiting to know if they will send me or not the V14. Fingers crossed, because that's definitely a wheel that I would like to have at home and to be able to do the videos for you guys. But yeah, I'm super, super excited to try this one and to be able to do EUC videos once again. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.